Today we're going to look at how to use Windows Task Scheduler to automate a couple of the uh, important tasks in Temps Plus, doing software updates and doing database validation to verify the health of your databases and also to implement any structural changes for any new features. The two programs responsible are TP Auto FTP for doing the software updates and DB Validator 4 for doing the database validation. You need to know the names of these programs in order to uh, automate them in Task Scheduler and that's what we'll look at next. And to get into Windows Task Scheduler, just press the Start button, and if it's not in your list of tasks because you don't use it very often, uh, just begin typing it in. And it should appear, and just select it. So here we are in the task scheduler and we're going to create a basic task and temps plus updates. Get the latest get the latest from Bridgeware's FTP site. Next. And we want to do this weekly and we'll have it done every Wednesday so but not during regular business hours we're gonna have it done say at 11 o'clock at night and have it recur every Wednesday and we want to start a program and we'll browse to where we've installed temps plus and we'll move down to TP Auto FTP And to tell it to run automatically, TP Auto FTP recognizes the command line switch auto. So we put auto in the arguments. And there's an overview of what's happening. And we're going to check this one box, open the properties dialog, because there's a couple of other things that I want to set. And those things are right here. I want to run it whether the user is logged on or not. And I want to run with the highest privileges because this is doing software updates, which means it's going to be re replacing your program files, you know, any updated program files. And it's going to ask us because it, uh, it's going to ask us now for credentials um, because we may not be logged in. It needs to know the login credentials. And that sets that. Now we will set one other task. Run the wizard again to create a, another basic task to do the DB validator. And we'll leave that as the name of it being adequate. And again, we'll run it weekly. But uh, we want to run this one after we've done the updates, just in case there's any uh, changes to data definitions that we received during the update process. So we'll set this to run at 11.30. Again, every Wednesday. Next. Start a program, and again we'll browse to DB Validator 4. And the argument for this to have it run automatically is auto update. Next, and again we're going to open the properties to tell it to run whether I'm logged in or not. 
we don't have to run with the highest privileges because uh, we're making changes to existing structures and we don't need elevated privileges to do that. But again, we'll be asked to log for login credentials. And that's that. And every Wednesday now, those tasks will be run. One other thing worth mentioning, uh, you're having those tasks run automatically. Well, maybe you're the system administrator and you'd like to see what updates occurred and, you know, any validation results. Uh, in DB Validator, you can press Control E and you can give the system information about where to send the log files from running these processes. And again, this is like setting up email and any other application. You just tell it where you want the results sent, uh, what the subject of the message should be, and it will actually send validation results as well as TP Auto FTP results. A uh, very nice little feature. And that, that stays whether or not you're running automatically via task scheduler or if people are running it independently on their workstations, you can automatically be emailed notifications of updates.